The 5 Best Ways to Build a Freelance Portfolio It is very common for clients to require viewing samples or examples of your work before they choose to commit to a huge project with you. In order to showcase your finest work, you will need a portfolio. This presentation will guide you through the best ways to build a freelance portfolio. The best part of these tips is that many of them are applicable, even if you do not have too much experience. Your portfolio should showcase the best of your work, as well as outlining any relevant skills and experience that you have. It is a combination and demonstration of the product or service that you produce for your clients. One way to begin to build a portfolio is to work for less than you would ideally charge. A lower price will attract clients and help you to build your clientele from early on. Also, just do work for fun. Anything you're interested in or whatever, take time to write or design or produce, assuming your product is a tangible physical service. Make content and get it out there. Spending some of your spare time creating quality content to fill your portfolio will add incredible value to your business, as well as helping you to determine exactly what services you will provide. Not only does this build your portfolio, it is also a great way to build experience. Working for free is another option, but some people advise against it. While it is entirely personal preference, in some circumstances, working for free is seen to devalue your work. But on the other hand, it is a fantastic way to gain experience and to make connections in your industry. If you lack experience and can withstand it financially, then it is a great option. Another tip to building a portfolio is to start your own blog. This will require that you consistently update and create content within your area and will showcase your skills and abilities. While this does not work for all freelancers, even if you are not strictly a writer, writing content that is relevant to your service makes you an authoritative voice in your industry. Sharing such content on social media is a good way to draw attention to your business. If it is possible, bring over any work from your past jobs that is relevant to your freelance business. If possible, legally, of course. You can remove these as you gain experience on your own, but it can be a way to showcase your skills when you are just starting out. You should also keep your portfolio up to date with new content, and you should revise and grow your portfolio as your business does. There is no use showcasing poor examples of past work when hopefully your work gets better with time and improves. Updating your portfolio to highlight successful projects will show your talent and skill to your future clients. Having an up-to-date portfolio is an essential method of adding value to your freelance business and allows you to advertise your services in an effective way, with minimal effort on your part. The best advertisement is, at the end of the day, a quality service. For that reason, the best way to build a portfolio is to have a quality product that attracts clients and influences them to work with you.